Hey there, this is Heather and welcome back to Civilization VI as Byzantium. We are continuing on with our playthrough today. Before I get into it, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and you can also leave me comments and suggestions in the comment section down below. Okay, so we are about to finish our industrial zone in our capital in one turn. We're working on various other things. We're building the Taj Mahal right now. More industrial zones, entertainment complexes and such. So let's continue on. And we cannot uh, declare war on Pachacuti for a while because he's still paying us. And that will be going on for another four turns. But in four turns, I can say thanks for the money. But um, it, we're going to get you now. And that's like what I what I plan to do. So. All right, we have found a field cannon. I don't really want the field cannon to kill my Tagma, but I did want that tribal village, so we got that. We got an envoy. Can I make, yes, you can now explore. I wonder if if that, um, whatchamacallit, warrior monk. I wonder if that warrior monk will find anything. I don't know if he will. I don't know. But um, we should start building units pretty soon. And our capital is done with the industrial zone. Let's put a workshop in here. And we have two envoys we could send somewhere. Well, I don't have any of these buildings that it's talking about um, for that bonus. We have no envoys in here. I don't know, I don't know. I don't really feel so inclined. You know, I guess we could put two in Leventa. You know that um, we're not getting Leventa, but we are getting additional faith from that. And uh, that seems like something worth doing. Looks like there is a drought over here. Which has pillaged my cotton tile again. Let's repair this. And we've got that iron mine. I would like to get a quarry over there. A lot of things I would like to get. Lots of things to do. Okay, so we have a tagma now from building that hippodrome. Just have him start going towards Pachacuti's territory. And I'm gonna get a lumber mill over here. Would be nice to get rid of that marsh maybe, but it's not critically important. Now, this Tagma really could use uh, some healing, but I don't know. Why don't you just heal for a turn? We'll see what happens. Now, I could build an arena and get another unit. I could build an amphitheater. Hmm. We still have negative amenities, so I'm going to go for the arena. It looks like the city has grown and that's like part of the problem. We need to get farms or something, you know, just for a small amount of housing for now until we get neighborhoods. At least that's what it looks like. Okay, we've got a minor flood that had no effects at all. I don't really know why it needs to tell me about that. Okay, now rationalism. I don't know why it's not telling me what this could possibly do for us, but it isn't. Hmm. Very strange, very strange. We could get plus 20 gold from Merchant Confederation. That's an idea. Might want to do that. Hmm. I mean, I really don't see why not. Let's just do that. We're gonna have a defeat with this Tagma, I don't like that. Major defeat with this guy. Oh boy. I don't really like the idea of them trying to take this on on their own. We might have to buy a unit in here. It doesn't look like I can buy anything that's like worth buying though. 
And so I don't think that's gonna happen. I think we're just gonna do our best, really. I don't think I don't think that you should go though. The warrior monk isn't so useful anymore, and frankly, if he dies at this point, it won't won't really affect us in a negative way. I mean, it wouldn't have been able to do much for us, basically. That's why I say that. All right. Well, you know what? I'm gonna transfer this trader to help with the Taj Mahal production. You have only one build left. You could fix that cotton tile and then get me a farm over here. We can claim a great person. We can form an army out of a military land unit. That might be worth it. Let's get that. And in Edessa, what do we want here? We could put an aqueduct there or there. I think I was like eyeing the spot for an industrial zone. Right now it's plus four, which is pretty good. If we sacrifice this rice tile, which is unfortunately pretty good, and I don't really want to sacrifice that too much, then we could get, you know, even better. I'm going to put the industrial zone here. And then maybe we'll put the aqueduct there. But we'll just get that there for now. Okay, now we need to be producing units. What do I want? 55 strength. It's anti-cavalry, we could get a bombard. Musket men. I've got tons of strategic resources. Cavalry is the best one. And this would take advantage of our uh, bonuses, you know. So they can do like full damage against the city when it's converted and all of that. And, you know, maybe we want a cavalry army. That would be good. Okay. We have two more envoys to use. Plus one amenity in all cities with a commercial hub district. If we get this one, Muscat. Let's just like get one in there. And we have discovered the twins. And then it doesn't look like we really have, I don't know, I'm gonna save this last envoy for now. Okay, well, they killed my unit there. We've got a flood. And you were just going to wait here until that cavalry is completed. Okay. What is the highest production here? Looks like it's just plus three. So... What is the best plus three? They're all basically the same. So we will just go here. It's only four turns to complete that. And you are going to repair that cotton. And you are going to get the lumber mill. All right. Now, I don't want my tagman to die, so you're going to have to wait. Okay, you want niter and diamonds. You will give me 15 gold per turn and open borders. I suppose that's okay. I suppose. And we are no longer getting any money from Patrick Cootie, so we can declare war on him. Let's get this quarry. And a Tagmont needs to head north. We have to use these units. We might have to just forget about what's going on down here at this point because I kind of need to use these units, honestly. I don't really have time for this anymore. If they start attacking my city, then um, we'll deal with it. But frankly, I, I just can't be bothered. 
at this point. I really just, I can't. I have other things to do. Let's choose some production. We could do a devotion. We don't really have enough production to be doing that, though. I think I'd rather get a library in here. I'd rather get an industrial zone, actually, because I've got the aqueduct and the dam, and that's pretty much what we're set up for. So let's get this plus eight industrial zone. That's fantastic. It'll take 33 freaking turns to do that. If I had some builders, I could send them over here and then put lumber mills in. So really, that seems like a good idea. How much would it cost to buy one? 500. Ooh. Well, I am doing other things, so I'm just going to I'm just going to buy it. We can get three lumber mills. Although I think they have more charges than that now. Yeah, I have I have five charges on my builder, so it's worth it. It's worth it. And let's get our amphitheater. I wonder if Pachacuti is going to declare war on me first. OK, we've got a max out like encampment district in Antioch. I'm just going to keep moving my units. OK, you uh, you finished the quarry, but we need to repair a lot of other things as well. And you're going to repair this farm. And you are going to head north. OK, so lumber mill is going to go there. And I mean, I could repair that mine. Probably show there's only one build left on you. So let's get the free repairs done. OK, we don't have any tundra tiles in the city, so it's not really worth building St. Basil's Cathedral. We could get another Tagma here in one turn. I've already started that one, so let's just do it. It is a beautiful and important monument. Okay, and we have finished a wonder. Missionaries and apostles can spread religion one extra time. We're going to need this for our war. Okay, it's pretty cool looking. It, are you going to move? Yeah, all right. Um, wait, which button did I just push on this? I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, 480 production towards Wonder Construction. That sounds pretty good. I think I'd like to get that guy. Gustav Eiffel. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on with you. Um, all right, now I could use quite a lot of things, as you know, but we are working on our military efforts. And so I think I'm going to go for a cavalry, maybe. Mm -hmm. This replaces the knight. So, yeah, I'm going to go for the cavalry over that for sure. OK, and here in Quebec City, lots of things we could be building. Maybe the Forbidden City. Um, where would this go? I mean, I'd have to ruin my farms for that. I think we'll just go for another cavalry. We need a lot of cavalry, just kind of in general. OK, we could get an armory. How much should that cost to buy? 780. Hmm. We also don't have our workshop built. We need a lot of things in here. Oh, great. He's got cultists. He's got cultists. Well, maybe we should um, kill them. Let's get the workshop in there. And you're going to repair that farm. And am I building water? I am building the Taj Mahal. Let's go over here and activate and finish that. 
down to earth and fixed for the wonder of ages. It's definitely like my favorite wonder in the game. Very cool. Let's get lumber mill here. And you're gonna repair that. And you are gonna go all the way up there. And I'm gonna to wanna to remove this marsh. So I'm gonna get going on that. Okay. Now there's so much to do, but I think we're going to work on the mosque here. And that cultist better not try to like mess up my loyalty in my cities. Does he have walls yet? It doesn't look like he does. I mean, it's a strong city, but... We have a Golden Age War, so let's do it. You stopped paying me. You stopped paying me. And therefore... Therefore... Um, you will now deal with the consequences of not paying me. Okay. And you were gonna go get us some science, I think. Can't pillage yet. I need to get a missionary. Where is my nearest holy site? I guess here. So, I will just... Oh, we can recall Hercules. We might want to do that. But I think right now I'll get a couple missionaries because I need those. And do we want to buy more somewhere else? I have a holy site here. Yerevan is not uh, in my religion anymore. But I think I really want to buy these, like, close up here. The missionaries. And I should be building a holy site over here, probably, to be honest. I can't, though, because I don't have enough population. Okay, you're going to be pillaging on the next turn. Cavalry is being worked on. And what do we want to do? I think we want to repair that mine next. Now, I'm not building any more wonders at the moment. That should probably change. I might want to build a wonder up here, maybe? I don't know. Not really. I don't know. You just take a nap right now. If I start building a wonder, I will let you know. And we could get some more production there, but I think I'm just going to do the lumber mill for now. Definitely need to heal up these units. Let's get rid of the marsh. We've got some more population, lots of food. Now, hopefully my tagma will be okay, but we will see. Oh, he's like come in with a whole bunch of a bunch of units. Got warrior monks all over the place. We could get some health. We don't need to do that. Hmm. You can't attack anything. major defeat there. Yeah, you need to guard this city. Frankly. Okay, I've got a missionary. Send him up there. Definitely need more units. 
Let's train another cavalry here. And what are you going to build? Hmm. Maybe. Well, I do need more population. We could build this one and get, well, this is a, a very tundra heavy city actually. So this might be a good place to build the cathedral. We don't have a holy site here, but we could build one. That wouldn't be bad. Um, we don't have the population for it yet though. I think it's got like the most tundra tiles of any of my cities, so might as well just do this one. Unfortunately, I can't build it adjacent to the theater square, but that's all right. I can just put it here and then we can get Eiffel to come over there. I've got this missionary. I'm going to send this missionary over to Yerevan. We're going to get up here with these guys. So. Got to convert everything. Okay. Now, I want to get that maze. So we're going to do that and get this lumber mill. Okay, now we do still want the production. I would rather, I don't know, I'd rather not do an internal one right now, but I think we're going to do that. We'll just go, Antioch is only four turns, it's the same, it's right there, and we will how many builds do you have? You only have one. Hmm. I think that's fine. We'll just remove the marsh. I think we need to like weaken these guys. We're going to pillage for science. Unfortunately, we can't pillage more than once per turn. And we'll have those promotions. I lost a unit. Okay, welcome to World Congress. Let's do negative 50% production on units and duplicates of maybe, maybe amber or diamonds. I don't know what people have. I don't know what people have. I'm just gonna pick diamonds, I guess. Doesn't really matter, does it? I don't know that we'll get it. That's kind of one of the harder ones to get. Cotton grants no amenities, so they did that against me. Because I'm the one who has cotton. We have nationalism. All right. Could kill this unit, which seems like a good idea. Because that, you know, will help spread our religion. Definitely want to kill these cultists. All right, we have converted. Um, looks like the city state. So that's interesting. And now we have converted the capital. Let's attack you. And then I've got this missionary, but I don't really need to send that missionary. He stole Vilnius. Well, that's not going to be permanent. And he's got a settler. Well, good luck to you. I can steal that settler. And you won't be able to do anything about it. All right. And James Young. Do we want to get this one? How close are we to revealing wrong tree? How close are we to revealing oil? I mean, kind of far away. We could... Go for industrialization instead then. Um, 
if we get him. Let's just, let's just do that. Okay. Now we can't really build a lot of things in here, but we could build more cavalry. Or we could get a core in just one extra turn, or this makes more sense. Let's get this guy. And you're going to go here. Your recruitment of great people we coveted is becoming a real problem. Well, too bad for you. Let's activate this guy. We now have an army of cavalry. And we are going to... I think we're going to get some more of these heavy cavalry units. Now we could pillage here and get some culture towards Scorched Earth, which makes sense to me. So we'll do that. You can't attack. You can. It says that you won't be able to kill them, but... Gotta try sometimes. Okay, you can't move. Who else do I have moving on? You. And you. We have a governor title. Okay, I don't really know. Who do we want? Maybe Pingala. But where would we put Pingala? Maybe in Antioch? We do have a campus there. And we will build a theater square there. So that makes sense to me. Let's just appoint Pingala to Antioch. And we brought the scientist. Let's activate two random technologies from industrial and modern era it reveals oil. Our knowledge of refining has advanced considerably and steel. Okay, well, that's interesting. It boosted refining when it reveals oil without needing refining. Very strange. Um, all right, so there is a bunch of oil down here. We could easily settle a city just right next to this one. And that will be fine. So, I mean, we should probably do that. So I will work on that soon. Okay, can you pillage again? No. And you don't need to convert this particular city. Major victory. You can't go anywhere. We're gonna repair this mine. Get the cavalry going up there. You wanna convert? Again. That city has taken quite a while to convert. Um, we still have quite a few turns left before we're done with this industrial zone. I think I'm gonna get that lumber mill going. Let's use a great engineer. We still have 10 turns left on St. Basil's Cathedral. We'll get rid of this marsh. Entertainment complex will be done in one turn. Then we'll get a unit from that, the Hippodrome. And we have definitely more than enough error score for another golden age. All right, well, this warrior monk might die, but it will put religious pressure if he does. Otherwise, I could pillage this farm with him. I mean, he's not really strong and frankly, I don't really need him that much anymore. Kind of want to just like get rid of annoying units, but tough call. He's really not that strong and he's just going to be in the way. So might as well just use him while we can, basically. Okay, let's catapult this knight. Is that what you are? No, you're not a knight. You're the curassier or whatever you are. I don't know what you're... What's up? What 
that is pronounced like. Um, converts in 96 turns. I like hate to waste charges if we could just kill units to do the same thing. We can take that settler. That was easy. You can pillage again. It's not getting me tons of culture, but I have to wait a while before I can change cards. Because we don't have we don't have the one in for for pillaging at this present time. Um, let's work on more units. And what can you work on? Get a workshop here. And you need more housing. I think a granary would be good. An arena would also be good. We've got a unit here. Let's get a granary. All right, you are gonna die if I use you there. So I don't know about that because it's just too... All right, well, you could pillage for health. We could upgrade you. We should do that. And I'll have you escort that settler in a minute. Now, that's not going to be good. You can just go on my industrial zone. We could upgrade you now, actually. And then you'll be equal. 115 gold. Do I have that? I think I have the policy in, but I just want to check. Yeah, 50% gold discount. And doesn't cost any iron. I've got our cavalry here. Another cavalry. And let's see, what do we want to do? Probably want to get this iron mine. The mine would help with the industrial zone. I'm not sure if the lumber mill will, but we're gonna get the lumber mill as well. I'm gonna upgrade this tagma, so I'm gonna do that. Okay. You can protect uh, this aqueduct for me. I've got a cultist here. Goodbye. And Yerevan is still not converted. Don't know how that works. Luckily, I have additional charges on my religious units. Okay, so he ran away and got attacked by the city state. Damaged tiles in our Petra city. We have circumnavigated the globe. That would have been the warrior monk doing that. Kind of funny. Now, who do you work for? Oh, well, we're at war. Hmm. Well, I could get rid of that bombard, but I don't know if it's really worth my time. Let's pillage this for health and go up here. That's not going to do anything good. Let's just, uh, oh yeah, you know what? I wanted to upgrade you. Let's upgrade you right now. And you're not going to be able to kill him. So that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'll have to pillage something. Okay. Well, the catapults need to be moving because they're not going to do me any good right there. Now we could get rid of this bombard right away. So that helps and that converts, converts things. So it makes sense. Let's go up here with our cavalry army. I mean, we could do some decent damage there, but I think I'd rather wait till the next turn. And you can go onto this industrial zone. That would not be good for you because you are not an army. Just fortify here. 
You alert me. I should upgrade that tagma, actually. Where'd you go? Well, I can't see it now. I'm going to have to do that in a second. Let's use a spread here. We have converted that city. All right, now I don't know if it's really worth bothering to have the escort, to be honest. I think we can just like move him, move the settler on, on his own because I'm trying to like have a war here and um, got a lot going on. We can pillage that for gold on the next turn. Actually, you know, it would be better if I upgraded that guy, but I haven't done it yet. Okay, now we need banks. We need all kinds of things. We could put a spy in somewhere. That might be a good idea to get additional money for troops. But we're not that far away. Like, and our capital is not like super far away from the front. So I think I'm going to get more of these units here. And you are going to go up there. got so much to do. Lots of cities to take over. And you can get me a lumber mill. And I need a, another builder. Or this one. You have three builds. Actually, that's going to be fine. Let's just get that lumber mill. I didn't see what happened with those units because it moves really fast on the quick combat thing, but um, India wants my amber. They won't give me very much for it. They will give me the open borders and they were kind of like stingy and like charging me a high price for that. I guess I will take this. I don't really have a ton of trading partners for the luxuries anyway, so it's probably fine. Probably not missing out on a lot. Okay, now I think we're going to get this camp and then we'll get the iron next. Just got to move all these guys up here. You're just like keeping watch at this point. All right, now we can attack do a tiny bit of damage to the walls. Looks like, can you be upgraded? Where's my other catapult? Did it get destroyed? I think it did. I think it did. Well, this will be fine. Um, we could form a core. We might want to form a core. You go there. You can't pillage on this turn, but. Um, this wouldn't do a lot of damage. Form a core, make it a little bit better. And yeah, I really do need more encampments. But I don't really want to build it over here. I need a builder over here to fix this stuff. We can get one in three turns, so we'll just do that. We need more amenities too. That's a pretty big issue. Let's look at the resource report. Okay, so I'm getting cocoa from Japan. Okay, so it looks like that's the only one that I'm getting through trade. Will you sell me honey? Quite expensive. Will you buy the cotton that you guys have like nerfed? No, you will not. What about sugar? It's a pretty good deal. Okay. And Pedro. I don't think you're going to want to buy this nerfed cotton either. You have coffee I would like. Okay, 10 gold per turn. And 2 gold per turn. Good. 
Good, good, good. Yeah, nothing that I can sell right now because they have made my cotton worthless. Irritating. All right, we should probably work on housing here. We'll get a granary. And we could do pretty good damage on this city. I need to get other siege weapons, it looks like. We don't need to pillage that for any more health. This guy is really weak, so I don't know how useful he's going to be. I could send him over there to move, like try to kill that cultist or something. Okay. You go up there. Could not form an army, actually, because... Yeah. I don't have that technology, that civic, yet. Alright, I've got the missionary here. I'm gonna convert. That's a Jewish city already. Got this tag map. We're gonna pillage for a bunch of gold. Can plunder this trade route as well. For 180 gold. It's quite a bit of gold. Can we buy a unit here? Very expensive. Very expensive, but I really need a siege weapon. Bombard would be pretty good. But which Renaissance era, industrial era? Well, obviously industrial era is better. Let's go for the field cannon. It's really expensive, but I need it. I do need it. All right, I don't plan on attacking the city state. And I'm just, I just don't do that generally. So I'm gonna leave it alone. What is your favorite city state in the game? I think, I mean, obviously Valletta is really great. I think that Zanzibar is really great because it has I think, what is it? Cinnamon and cloves? I think that's like my favorite one. I think Zanzibar. Just because of the luxuries. Just because of the luxuries. I think that's what makes it the best one to me. Well, besides Valletta. Okay, you could be upgraded to a Bombard for very, very cheap price. So I'm going to do that. Unfortunately, my other catapult was killed. And you were going to pillage for some health here. Now, you are core. You could pillage this for faith. Mm. Let's attack with... No, let's pillage first. Got square rigging. And then you could attack as well. I mean, it's not doing a ton. I would like for it to do more. I think I need to get the tag out of here because it's just obsolete, really. I need to upgrade it. Actually, cancel that. Don't don't move there. We'll upgrade you, and then just continue to attack with all my units. Really, that's really gonna do a lot of damage to the unit, but it can heal. It'll be all right. You go here. Now this is very like intensely consequential damage it's like being done you need to like go over here and join up okay we have boosted mobilization and we can get a military academy i think we should do that it's kind of like far away from the front though it's like do i really want to put that in but i think i think we do because we already have the encampment and you need to get moving I'm gonna get the iron here next, mostly just for the mine. 
and we will work on what do we want to work on next? Hmm. You know, maybe we will do some campus research grants right now because I want to get techs going to get better, you know, military technologies. I'm going to work on the armory here. And you go up there. Could form a core here. All right, and we've got the settler. You need to be upgraded. Plenty of gold for that. Let's use this missionary first. I don't think that he's going to enjoy being converted, especially when it makes him so vulnerable to my attacks in the future, but um, no one really cares what the Inca feel about this because it's my game. All right, I'm going to leave this part here because it is pretty long. Um, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. You can leave me comments in the comment section and I will talk to you in the next part. Bye.